Hello and welcome back to this learning video. In this learning video, we will see differences of some functions. So without wasting much time, let us start with this. Very first example on differences of some function is this. And this example says, show that del 2 of sin x is this. Before we attempt this problem, let me remind you of this del 2. This del 2 is nothing but the second difference of sin x and we call it as difference of difference. Okay, so let us solve this problem now. So we will solve this by LHS equal to RHS. So consider this and try to get this. So LHS is equal to del 2 of sin x and just now I have stated that this del 2 is nothing but difference of difference of sin x. So this forward difference operator as it is. Now apply the first forward difference of this. So what is forward definition of forward difference? So, definition of forward difference is delta of f of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x. So, apply here. Now, you may be wondering what is the interval or the difference of interval. So, it is given it is h. Okay. So, now you can write here. So, this is sine x plus h minus sin x by this definition. Now take this difference of first power difference of sin of x plus h minus power difference of sin of x. Okay. Now the first power difference of sin x plus h is nothing but what is it? Sin x plus 2h minus sin x plus h. This is forward difference of this only. Now apply forward difference over here. So this would be sin x plus h minus sin x. So you can write this sin x plus 2h minus this minus and this minus become minus 2 sin x plus h and this minus minus become plus that is sin x and this is nothing but your RHS. Okay, if you are not getting the feeling of RHS then you write this term first then add this one and at last you can write minus 2 sin x plus h. Okay, so is this problem clear? If this is clear to you, we can move on to the next problem. So what is the next problem? The next problem says, show that e to the power x del 2, that is second difference of e to the power x is this. So how we can get this result or how we can prove this? On a very similar lines we can do. Okay, so we can start with LHS. So what is LHS? We have del 2 of e to the power x. So we can write this one as forward difference of forward difference of e to the power x. Now apply the definition of forward difference operator. So it would be e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x. Simple. Now you can distribute this forward difference operator to this terms and operate forward difference operator on e to the power x plus h and forward difference operator on e to the power x. So this is going to be e to the power x plus 2h minus e to the power x plus h minus what is forward difference of this e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x. Simple. Now, you can 
we write this as e to the power x plus 2h. This is minus 2 e to the power x plus h minus minus plus e to the power x. Now you can make use of the indices and you can separate e to the power x. So this would be e to the power x common from here. Remaining is e to the power 2h minus 2 e to the power h plus 1. Okay, now this e to the power 2h, you can think of it like e to the power h square. So this is a square minus twice a b plus b square. So this is nothing but e to the power x, e to the power h minus 1 whole square. And this is nothing but your rhs. This proves the second result. Easy? Is it okay up to this? This is what we wanted to prove. Del 2 of e to the power x is e to the power x into e to the power h minus 1 whole square. Okay? Now let us take the third problem. So let us see the third example that we have. Okay? So this example says find power difference of x plus cos x. Okay? So let us start with this. Power difference of x plus cos x is equal to forward difference of x plus forward difference of cos x. Okay. That is forward difference of x plus cos x is equal to. What is forward difference of x? Here the interval of differencing is not given. So we will consider it to be h only. So this is x plus h minus x. This completes the forward difference of this. Now what is forward difference of this? This would be cos x plus h minus cos x. Easy? Now this plus x minus x get cancelled. We remain with h plus this is cos x plus h minus cos x. Now, this is nothing but the forward difference of x plus cos x. But sometimes, question is asked like, show that forward difference of x plus cos x is some result. So, to derive that result, I need to apply the trigonometric formula over here. And that I am going to use it now. The formula that I am going to use is, I am writing here, using, using cos A minus cos B. So what is the formula of cos A minus cos B, where cos A is x plus h, B is x, okay. So this is 2 times sine of a plus b by 2 into sine of b minus a by 2. Okay, so now use this over here. So, forward difference of x plus cos x is equal to h. Then here I will apply this. So, this is nothing but 2 sine of, what is it? x plus h plus x. Okay. So, this would be 2x plus h by 2 into sine, what is it? x minus x minus h. So, this is minus h by 2. Okay. And you have the result which says sine of minus theta is equal to sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. So I will make use of that result here. Okay, so this is nothing but h sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So this becomes minus 2 sine 
this you can write it as x plus h by 2 into sin h by 2. Okay. Is it okay? If you have any doubt, you can ask. Is it okay up to this? Okay, now let us see the very last problem of this learning video. So I am taking the last example. If delta f of x is equal to e power x, then find f of x. So somewhat a tricky problem it is. You are given delta of f of x is e to the power x, then find out f of x. So how we can find out f of x? You can apply the definition of forward difference operator. So by the definition of delta, we write, we write delta of e to the power x is equal to e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x. Okay, now here you can apply the law of indices and write this as e to the power x into e to the power h minus e to the power x. Now you can take out e to the power x common, you remain with e to the power h minus 1. This is power difference of e to the power x. So what would be e to the power x? It would be 1 upon e to the power h minus 1 into delta e to the power x is equal to this e to the power x. Now this being a constant, we have a property delta of c f of x is equal to delta of c f of x. Okay. So, this you can treat as a constant C and you can write this one as that is power difference of e to the power h upon e to the power h minus 1 is equal to e to the power x. But, but delta of f of x is also equal to e to the power x given, okay? That is what given to us delta of f of x. So if right hand sides are same, left hand sides are also same. So say this is to be 1, this is to be say 2, from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, you can write f of x is equal to e to the power x upon e to the power h minus 1. And that is the value of f of x we wanted in this problem. So, this is what we have in this learning video. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can write down in the comment section. Till then, thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics.